Hey, what is up guys? This is Bill from Goyon Mojo Tech and this video is dedicated to the performance of the late 2013 Mac Pro. As some of you guys know, I just got the Mac Pro in the house like a few days ago and I've been testing it non-stop. So these are just some of the benchmarks that I ran on the Mac Pro that I think you guys will be interested to know. Now just to get the specs out of the way, the model I have features a 6 core Xeon processor, dual AMD D500 GPUs featuring 3 gigs of VRAM each, 16 gigs of 1866 MHz ECC memory, and also a 256 gig PCIe based SSD. Now that we've got that taken care of, let's jump straight into the benchmarks. So the first benchmark that I ran was the 64-bit version of Geekbench 3 and this is an extremely popular benchmark that could be ran from the iPhone all the way to an extremely powerful workstation grade PC. So without screen recording on, this Mac Pro kicked out a single core score of around 3600 and a multi-core score of around 20,000 which is pretty amazing. Now just to give you guys some context, the top of the line i7 27 inch iMac only tops out at a multi-core score of around 14,000. Moving on, now we have the black magic disk speed test. So essentially this benchmark just measures the read and write speeds that's capable out of the PCIe based SSD. So as you guys can see, it's hitting a write speed of around 760 megabytes per second and a read speed of around 950 megabytes per second. And that's just almost at a gigabyte a second, which is just crazy and I have never seen scores like this ever before. Now to test this SSD even further, I did what people call an SSD stress test. So basically it's just opening up every single application on your computer. Anyways, this PCIe based SSD handled this with no problem at all. And this really shows how fast this Mac Pro is going to be in day to day performance. After that, we have Cinebench R15, which measures the OpenGL performance, and so is the CPU performance. So first, I ran the OpenGL part of the benchmark, and it was actually pretty fun to watch with all the physics and car chasing. But anyways, in the end, we got a final score of around 80 FPS, which is pretty good, considering that they're workstation cards, not regular gaming cards. Then finally, I did the CPU test and basically it's just trying to render out a super high resolution image and our Mac Pro got a high score of around 960 CB points, which is pretty impressive and it's definitely going to help you boost your productivity when you're video editing or photo editing. Also, as you guys can see there, it's just a tad bit under the 3930K and about 80 points more than a 4770K. Finally, the last benchmark that I ran was called Nova Bench, and this is definitely an older benchmark, so take the score with a grain of salt. In the end, we got a final score of around 2,000 points, which is relatively good too. And that's pretty much it guys, so my full review of the Mac Pro is coming up really shortly, and if you guys want to see that, please be sure to subscribe to the channel, and also give this video a like. This is Bill from Goyo Mojo Tech, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.